Cole, what? it's so good to see you, my friend. Going. Hey, uh, I, I know a lot of people say this, but I got to give you props for Yellowstone, man. Huge fan of that show. So uh, it's just really cool to see you uh, in this role, The Last Champion, man. So it's great to see you. Thanks for watching both. Absolutely, man. So I want to start off with, did you have a background with, with wrestling? Because growing up here in Texas, it's not as popular. But I want to see uh, what kind of background that you had uh, with wrestling, if you had any growing up. No, I mean, I just I wrestled with my brothers a bunch, but that's about it. But, uh, yeah, I, I learned a ton from the director, Glenn Withrow. Um, he, he was a state champion in Kentucky, um, and that's what motivated the writing of the film and, and him directing it. Um, but also I was up in, in uh, Moscow um, and and uh, and got some great coaching stuff from from real guys who who coach every day in college and at, at top levels. Yeah, I used to wrestle with my brothers all the time, so I totally get it. What was it that attracted you to this film? Was it this uh, kind of a broken man, you know, overcoming his challenges and then uh, using like an inspiration to bring other people up? Or what was it that attracted you to this movie? I mean, there were a lot of things, um, but yeah, the one that you mentioned right out of the gates, you know, I, I, I love the idea that that he's starting, you know, from neutral, you know, nothing. It's kind of from the ashes of life, you know, and how he, you know, through his former coach and his ex-girlfriend in the town, slowly trying to, you know, find his way and being accepted that he starts to get his confidence again. If you look in the beginning of the film, I mean, he can barely look at anybody you know, let alone talk to them. So th that is an actor you look for, you know, what's the journey and the journey with, with John Wright was, was fantastic. Yeah, I agree. It was pretty profound, like seeing a man that was once, you know, really a hero to the entire town. And then to have that all stripped away from him with the media and then going to have, having to go back home and, you know, confront that. I thought that was uh really and and then the, for him to build up it was really uh it was really emotional it was a really beautiful story uh who with you in your life uh has helped you maybe overcome challenges or maybe even better who was an inspiration for you as a kid was there like a, a father figure in a way as john wright was to his team for you uh, my grandfather my grandfather was you know the only father figure i had and he was he was a tough dude man he, he was in iwo jima as a marine you know and and um but he was also you know, he was a very sensitive soul. He, he, you know, was a writer, producer, you know, and, and running Warner Brothers for a little bit. Um, but he was just, he was one of those guys that just had, he just had a light around him, you know, and you, anything he, he'd say to you, you'd just go like, wow, that's, you know, profound and smart. And he just was just an amazing guy to look up to as a young man. So he was somebody I always, I always looked up to. I wish he was here still, you know, but he left way too way too early. Yeah, I would say my, both of my grandfathers as well. On my dad's side, definitely uh, kind of enlightened me, I guess you would, I could say in a way to really push my challenge and push my dream. And then, you know, my grandfather on the other side was a farmer and just seeing the struggle that he went through and, you know, um, kind of overcoming his challenges as well. Yeah. Um, I, I know we're supposed to keep it with this, but how's uh, how's filming a Yellowstone season four coming along? Are y'all wrapped with that? Or we just finished a week ago. Yeah, I mean it was you know it's a very interesting year across the board, but we got it done, and you know um, it was hit or miss for a while. There was some people got sick, and you know, but uh, we we powered through it, and there will be a season four. So uh, I know the Yellowstone fans will be excited to hear that.